Well, welcome back to Rick Outdoors. I learned a valuable lesson yesterday. I'm just going to start off this video by mentioning it because it may help you. Uh, before uh, uh, I got sick, I took a gentleman uh, a load of firewood. He wasn't happy with the people he was getting firewood from, so I took him a load. And, uh, that morning and that afternoon, he called me. He go, Rick, bring me two more loads. I want a dump trailer load. I said, no problem. So I was sitting in church yesterday, and he was wanting a load of uh, season oak and pecan. So he texted me yesterday in church and said, uh, scratch the pecan, just bring all uh, season oak. And when I got out of church, I texted him, I said, no problem. So yesterday afternoon, we sitting around the house, and me and the wife decided just to load this trailer up, and I texted him after I loaded the trailer, and go, uh, I got your wood loaded up, I'm gonna bring it to you in the morning. And his response was, oh man, I'm busy all week. There's no way. So I told him, I said, no problem. I've got plenty of people want it, so it can go elsewhere. The only problem is it's, it's smaller wood because he's got a buck's toe. So I got one person who wants it. So what I got to do is I got to unload one load into a tote and then take the person uh, just one load instead of two loads. But that's a lot of work, but it's a valuable lesson. Uh, you need to uh, contact your people first before you start loading trailers. And unless it's all the same size, which I deal in different sizes, so it may not affect you, but it, it did and it will affect me. So let's unload, but we got plenty. I got plenty of wood to deliver this week. And we got a big load of pine straw I got to load this afternoon to take in the morning. So I may put that a little bit in the video. But it's Monday morning. It is early in South Carolina. See, I got a hoodie on and it's still, I still got chills. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's damp. It's about 7.30 early. So let's get started. Let's unload this in real fast time. TV. All right, folks, we are here at Newberry Disability. We bringing them some pine straw. What's your name? Michael. Michael. What's your name? Sam. Sam. Wesley. And we got some stragglers coming in, but we're going to load these. They they uh, spread pine straw through the community, mm -hmm. and we bring them uh, and cut grass. What else you do? We do it all, boss man. We do it all. Yeah. You, don't, you don't do nothing. I know you. You don't do nothing. Yeah. But eat on Fridays. I, I, I see you eat. I do it too. Huh? I do it all too. Do it all too. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to unload some of this pine straw. They're going to get ready to dress up some yards for Christmas. Y'all ready for Christmas? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. I think we all are. 
All right. We good go, man. All right, y'all ready to get work? Yes, sir. Remember, hold on to both strings. Both strings. I'll let me put the back. Get it tight. Joe, load one bell, one bell, right? One bell. You unload all of them. He did most of the work. He got that tiger cap on. Oh yeah. Who won between Carolina and Clemson? He liked the tiger. Yeah. All right. Tell everybody have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, brought you along on a, a, a pine straw delivery today uh, to Newberry Disabilities. It is a great uh, thing they do. They get the, these guys out and girls out in the community. They, they cut grass and they, uh, I think they do hedges and they just clean up and, and help the community. It, it is a great program and uh, We've been doing this a couple of years now, helping them out, and we got a bird raising Tito Hale, <laughs> Mockingbird. Yeah. But uh, we help them out. We 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 sell them pine straw, and uh, we uh, we take it to them delivery. We don't charge for the delivery, and uh, give them a break on the pine straw because I believe in the program. Uh, it's it's a great program, and these guys are, are great guys. If they see you. They're going to speak. They always got a smile on their face. 
we see them a lot on Fridays out eating at Hog Heaven, and these guys always speak. And uh, and they love to pick on Ricky. Yeah, oh, we they... pick on the Gamecocks <laughs> and, the, and the Tigers, and, and we have a good time. So uh, brought you along today, a little bit of different video. I hope, uh, hope you have this program in your community. It is a good thing, and we promote it, and uh, as long as I'm able, if they need pine straw, we'll bring it to them. So we want to just bring you that. Anything you want to say? You enjoy being around the guys. Oh, I love it. I love to hear them laugh. Ricky gets them laughing, and it's it's hilarious. They they like to pick on him, and and he picks back. And it, we have a it's, good time. It's a good time. Good time. So uh, I know it's a different video, but hope you enjoy it. I hope you watch it all the way through. And uh, I threw that at the beginning a, a, a valuable lesson, but that's okay. Everything worked out great. So. I, I will call before I start loading from now on. That's a, that's a, that's a lesson I should have learned a long time ago. So something I will do. But I hope you're having a great day. Today's Tuesday. It is very cold. In the next two days, it's supposed to be in the 50s. It's supposed to get down in the 20s. And we're supposed to have 20 to 25 mile constant wind. So hopefully this afternoon, I'm going to shoot you a video. I can bring you sometimes during the week. But if the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour and it's very cold, I'll stay by the fire. I'll let my <laughs> lovely assistant split some wood and bring it to you. So, appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate you watching, commenting. Love the comments. Appreciate y'all, folks. This is Wreck Outdoors. One shout out. If my nephew's watching, happy birthday, Jeffy. And for uh, continue to pray for that young couple that uh, lost their three-month-old baby. That is, uh, that's tough, folks. And then the, the family that lost the 13, 14 year old girl. We had two deaths in the community. It's really It's, a, it's heartbreaking. So can, continue to have those in your prayers. I know this ain't Sunday, but I don't think we can wait for Sunday for prayers on those two. So see you back in the wood yard. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully. Appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe, comment and share, please. Appreciate y'all.